Hello everyone. This is just a quick version on how you can post your grades using Canvas, which is our learning management system. We're using Canvas because we need it for our FERPA laws to ensure student safety of their grades. So once again, what I'm going to do is go to the GCC homepage, Quick Links, Canvas, and I'm going to log into Canvas using my MEID and my password. Once I've logged on, I want to go into the course that I want to enter grades for. Most of you probably saw my video about how to post a syllabus, so I'm just going to continue on in that course. Once again, if you notice, my course is still unpublished. I haven't published my course. If I want my students to see it, after I'm done making my changes, I'm going to click Publish, then my students can see it. You only need to do that one time for the semester. So right now, all I have is announcements if I'm posting announcements in modules, which is where I posted my syllabus for the course, any of my classroom documents. I need to make the grades viewable to the students. So what I'm going to do is go back under the settings. I'm going to click on the navigation tab again, and I need to make sure I bring grades up to the top so it's now visible by the students. So just drag and drop grades above this line so it'll be visible to the students. Once again, don't forget to go to the bottom of the page and click Save. If you look now, my students should be able to see the home page, announcements, modules, and the grades. If you click on the grades, you shouldn't really see anything, just a blank there. And if you click on it, you probably can't even enter a student's grade. This is because we haven't created any assignments yet. You have to create an assignment before you can enter a grade in the gradebook. So how do we do that? I'm going to click on the breadcrumbs to go back to my home page. What I need to do is create an assignment before I enter the grade. Canvas needs to know an assignment is there before we can enter a grade for that assignment. So every time I want to enter a grade, I'm going to click on the Assignments tab. When I go under Assignments, if you don't want it to be called Assignments, you don't need it to. You at least need to post an overall grade into the class. So let's just go ahead and change this real quick. I'm going to edit this, and I'm going to call this Overall Grade. Click on 100% of the total grade, and I'm going to click on Save. This is if I'm just going to enter one grade into Canvas, and that's the current total grade. I'll show you after this how to enter more specific groups and more items. If you just want to do an overall grade, go ahead and add an assignment, name the assignment, maybe just overall grade again. I'm going to give it 100 points worth of value for 100%, though that really doesn't matter. You could do it off of a, however many points are in your class, and I'm going to click on Save. Here's a big thing to notice. Once again, anything that has a gray cloud, it's not published and your students can't see it. So you have to click on this Publish button before you're going to be able to let your students see it or before you're even able to enter a grade yourself. Now that I have an assignment created that says Overall Grade, I'm going to be able to go into my gradebook and enter the grade. So I'm going to click on the grades. Now you're going to see a column that's in white that says overall grade, and I can enter individual grades for my students. This is how I would do just an overall grade. If you want to do more grades, continue the watching the video. If that's all you want to do, you can go ahead and stop the video now. So if you want to create more grades, what you're going to do is go back in, and you're going to click on your assignments tab. What I like to do is create categories. I don't like doing an overall grade. I have several categories in my class. So maybe my first category is going to be tests. And my tests are worth 70% of my class grade. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Let me go ahead and delete out this assignment because I don't want them to see an overall grade. I'm going to create another group. And this group is going to be homework. And maybe my homework is worth 30% of their overall grade, and I'll click Save. You can break it out however much you want to, and you can give it any percentage weight of the total percentage that you want of your grade. So now Canvas is automatically going to weight my grades for me. 
Then what I can do is go in and click on individual assignments. So I can come in here and I could say test one. And I don't care how many points you want to make it worth, I always make everything worth 100 so it's weighted evenly. And I could come in and I can add another assignment, test two. And I could click on save. And now I have another test. Remember, I can't edit those grades until that's green. You have to click the publish mark and change it green or you will not be able to enter grades for this. Under homework, what I like to do is just say average homework grade. The reason I do this is my students do their homework in my math lab. And I don't want to sit there and enter a homework grade for every single my math lab assignment. Rather, what I do is I take the overall total that the students are doing in my math lab and I put whatever their overall grade in my math lab is into this average homework grade column. And I actually only update it every once in a while because in Canvas, students can actually click on the grade and enter their own grade to see what their current grade is. It doesn't change it permanently, it's just a temporary view for the students. So now that I have it like this, I have it weighted the way that I want it, I'm going to go under my grades. You're going to see those three columns, test one, test two, average homework grade, and I can go and enter whatever I want for my students, and Canvas is going to properly weight my students' grade. As you can see, there's a mathematical error. I was wondering what happened. It's because I have test two is out of zero points, so right now this has it as 50 extra credit points. So make sure when you do it out of points that you assign the proper points. To change that, I'm just going back to the Assignments tab. I'm going to go under Edit on the Assignment, change the points possible for that assignment, click on Save. Now it's out of 100 points. And if I go to the grade, I can see that it's properly rated. So a student can see their grade on each individual assignment as well as their total grade for this class at any point in time, no matter where they're at. So once again, any time that you want to create something or enter something into the gradebook, you have to go under Assignments first, add the assignment under whichever category it is, make sure you have the green check mark, then go into the gradebook and enter the actual grades. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.